Good evening, I'm Lee Anderson. 300 St. Charles employees filed for union representation today, upset with St. Charles administrative decisions. Noah Chast joins us now with the details. Noah? Thanks, Lee. I was at a news conference held by the Central Oregon Providers Network this morning, and I heard a pretty similar message from the doctors and providers who spoke. They want a seat at the table when it comes to crucial decision making, like cutting staff or other programs. With the bottom line is the focus, we miss the reason we are in this profession. Josh Plank is a hospitalist with St. Charles and is part of the 300 person physician and healthcare worker group filing for union representation. We are very concerned St. Charles will make more staff cuts to improve the bottom line, but will only serve to hurt patient care. The group is represented by Central Oregon Providers Network and will join a national union, the American Federation of Teachers. And the group's not asking for better pay or benefits like many unions often do. They say what they want is better care and better quality for the patients. If we are not included at the table in these decisions right now, we risk losing essential services for people in Central Oregon that they will have to travel hours to get. The group feels St. Charles does not include them in key decision-making processes, such as layoffs, department downsizing or lab closings. We are the people providing the care, not the administrators. Decisions are being made based on dollar signs rather than people. ER physician Lester Dixon referenced a group of layoffs that helped inspire the need for a union. They fired all of the physician's assistants in the hospitalist program. And we don't want to see that again or anything like that. It's not patient-centered. In response to the call to unionize, St. Charles Chief Physician Executive Dr. Jeff Absalon said in a statement, We want to reassure our community that patient care is and will continue to be our top priority. We greatly value our employed providers and respect their right to take this step, although we'd prefer to work directly with them in partnership. Dr. Plank says the group looks forward to working with St. Charles and wants to give input now to truly make sure patient care is top priority. My patients should not be viewed as numbers or dollar signs. They are human beings who come to St. Charles expecting the best care. The group hopes to have an election in the next few weeks to certify the union. More than 180 employees were laid off by St. Charles in May due to financial challenges. Lee, I'll send it back to you.